focus focus this lighting is not it all right hello guys today is friday september 3rd 801 p.m and in about 12 hours 800 freshman students are set to move into this dorm which means tonight's gonna be the last night i have this entire dorm for myself i decided that i'm gonna make a tour of my dorm i know i made a tour last year but honestly that video isn't the greatest quality video and also i realized that i didn't do a very good job of explaining some of the features at the dorm so without further ado welcome to the updated tour of the best dorm at the University of Toronto. So first, let's start with my room. So I'm currently residing on a typical single room at New College 45 Wilcox Dormitory. And as you can see, when you first walk into the room, you'll realize that the room is actually not that small. This is my third year of using a single room at 45 Wilcox, and I never had a problem with the size of the room. And also, a lot of people hate on the decor of this room because of the color and the texture of the wall. But honestly, I really don't mind the decor of the rooms here. Uh, a lot of houses and stores in Toronto also has this industrial style decor. So I think it's trendy maybe, but I get why people say that it looks like a jail cell. And pro tip, don't get a gray blanket cover when the wall in your room is already gray. Yeah, I'm not the best when it comes to decorating my room. Now, right underneath your bed, there is an extra storage for you to just put your clothes in. Uh, for me, I like to just put like random things like umbrellas, uh, Swiffer cloths so yeah you get the point there's an extra storage oh also there's two of them now right in front of your bed you have your AC slash heater and it's actually a flex that you have an air conditioner and a heater in your room because in some dorms and rooms at U of T you can't control your own temperature but at 45 Wilcox you can switch from cold to warm from low fan to high fan so at 45 Wilcox you don't have to worry about your room getting too hot or too cold because you can control your own temperature. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to University Dorm where having a control over your room temperature is now a flex. Seriously though, that's the reality. So anyways, in front of your heater slash air conditioner, you're gonna have your giant window. Uh, I guess you guys can't really see the view, but if you wanna see my beautiful view, make sure to go check out my move-in vlog because in that video, I show a beautiful view of Toronto. Now we'll move on to my favorite part about my room which is my desk so the desk here comes with like a vision board LED light at the top and a shelf for you to keep random things on top of your desk for me personally I like to keep my accessories and snacks but I seen some of my friends put flowers and plants as a decoration so if you're into you know decorating your room this shelf will come in very handy and I don't think I ever told you guys this but there is this extending part of a table here I personally really like like this extra space because this space allows you to eat your food without getting your actual desk dirty and also this desk comes with three shelves and now finally here is my closet so the closet has three open spaces and three shelves I personally like to put my toiletries on these three shelves because it's very easily accessible and I like to put my underwear and just random things on the bottom three shelves and obviously next to your shelves you have your closet I would say you can fit around 30 to 40 pieces of clothing here now that we're on my closet section i would like to thank bottoms left for sending me these two shorts honestly their shorts are one of the most comfortable shorts i ever worn they're very stretchy very comfortable so if you're looking to buy new shorts for college slash university make sure to go check out bottoms lab like i'm personally not the best when it comes to styling my clothes but you can easily style these shorts by simply putting on a t-shirt like this so yeah thank you bottoms lab all right so now that wraps up my tour of my room so now let's go out of my room to continue the dorm tour so so when I come out of my room, I'm faced with these two corridors. I'm gonna first go to the corridor that leads to the washroom because that's probably something that you guys are all wondering. Washrooms are gender neutral, meaning that all gender can use this washroom. The washroom has one, two, three, four, five sinks and four stalls and each stall looks something like this there's really nothing special about stalls here and also there's cleaners cleaning these washrooms literally every morning so the stalls don't get as dirty but at the same time don't expect like five star hotel quality washrooms now each washroom has three showers and one of them has a bathtub but i wouldn't personally recommend you to take bath here now this is what a typical shower looks like 
works well. So yeah, that's basically washroom for you guys. All right, now let's go to the laundry room. So there's laundry room in every floor. And in that laundry room, there's two laundry machines, two dryers, an iron, and a sink. So pretty self-explanatory. You just gotta bring your laundry here. All the laundry machine and dryer are free. And obviously you're gonna have to buy your own detergent. Now let's go to our final destination, which is the kitchen. Oh, it's actually called a common room. But common room, kitchen, same thing. So this common room is basically a place for you to chill with your friends. And it also has a place for you to cook your meal. So if you're a person who likes to cook their own meal, you can definitely do that here by using the oven, microwave, and a fridge. And also there's a TV here. So if you like to watch some movies here with your friends, you can totally do that as well. When I was in my first year, some of my friends like to do karaoke using that TV. So maybe that could be an option for you guys as well. But yeah, common room is definitely Definitely one of my favorite places to be at the dorm. And oh, right, there's one place that I forgot to show you guys, which is the study room. So the study room is pretty self-explanatory. It's basically a room where you can study with your friends, but the room looks like it's closed at the moment. Fun fact, this is the exact place where I recorded my first ever viral video with my friend Jack. So yeah, shout out to Jack for that. I hope you're having fun at Harvard. Now I think I'm really done with the tour. I definitely think this tour was much better than the tour I did last year but i'll still put the link on my old tour in the description so that you guys can be the judge of which tour is actually better but yeah thank you to those of you guys who made it till the end you guys are the absolute legends thank you so 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 much for watching today's vlog and i'll see you guys in the next day one. dreaming i just want the feeling of you in my bed